President Donald Trump departed today on Air Force One, heading for a planned trip to Asia that was scheduled to have him in the Orient for longer than any president has toured there in the last 25 years. Seemingly knowing what his plans entailed an all too familiar sight showed up to take advantage of a presumed lack of security with the POTUS and his family not at the West Wing, but preparing for their eventual return. That was an overassumption as the People's House and the President's residence went on lockdown for necessary protection against the clear and present threat discovered feet from the front door. Trump left the country just hours before domestic terrorists' threat is to come to fruition which may or may not have been coincidental. Shortly after Air Force One took off, security at the White House went on immediate alert after what was discovered on the grounds. Never in the history of our country has any president been under the same persistent threat of attack as Trump and for that reason, his beefed up and highly trained security staff is a top priority to him making it through these four years unscathed. The White House grounds were briefly locked down Friday during the arrest of one person who falsely claimed to have dropped explosives near the complex, the Secret Service said, according to USA Today. Irvin Petaway, 33 of Washington, D.C., was charged with one count of felony threats. He allegedly made the claim just before 9.30 a.m. to a uniformed Secret Service officer on patrol across from the north fence line of the White House, the agency reported. The incident occurred near the time President Trump was departing for a 12-day trip to Asia, the source explained. Petaway did not gain access to the White House grounds, the agency said. The incident prompted officers to clear all pedestrian and vehicular traffic from the area while dog teams and other units swept the scene. Despite the intruder's claim, no explosives were found and once this fact was determined, the lockdown was lifted at approximately 10.23 a.m. local time. This comes after a slight reprieve from attempted attacks like this, namely a series of fence jumpers who kept the Secret Service working around the clock to for weeks after Trump took office. This is in addition to a trend of suspicious packages left behind on the White House grounds. All of these incidents are too frequent to be ignored and shows that there's not only a number of psychopaths willing to take down our president but seems to suggest that there are a lot of people testing the limits and capabilities of access, at an alarming rate. There have been more fans jumpers in 10 months of Trump's administration than in 8 years of Barack Obama's. Also alarming is the number of suspicious packages found, all which have a chilling thing in common that can't be ignored. The last two times mysterious packages have been found in the same exact spot, it's been hours within the time that the Trumps have returned home from a publicized trip. One of those times this type of alarming incident occurred was when the President and First Lady had just come back from a controversial trip to the G20 summit. On July 9, Secret Service was forced to shut down the North Fence Line at the People's House after what they found outside, not far from where the Trumps were. Fox 32 Chicago reports, the Secret Service investigated a suspicious package outside the White House on Sunday night. The package was near Pennsylvania Avenue and 15th. Agents closed the north fence line of the White House as they investigated. They also closed 15th Street to vehicular traffic. At just after 7 p.m. Eastern Time on that Sunday, law enforcement personnel were still on the scene investigating the package to determine what it was and if it was a threat, the Secret Service alerted in a tweet at the time. There's no amount of security and seriousness that's too much when it comes to any first family's safety, but especially the Trumps who are under increased and constant attack by lunatics who feel justified in following through on a deadly threat. It also came to light within the last 48 hours, that the Secret Service is out of cash and unable to adequately staff President Trump and his family. Although the blame for this was first placed on the Trumps and the size of his immediate and extended family combined, the truth is, there wouldn't be such a great need if there wasn't such an imminent threat posed by the incensed left. That threat is clear, present, and very real and there are many, unfortunately, out there who are so disillusioned by the Democrat Party that they are willing and hoping to go out as a martyr for the cause. There have never been so many security breaches at the White House as there have been while the Trumps have lived there. This is not because of him, 
It's due to the instability that Democrats instill in their liberal followers who are more than willing to do their dirty work. It began with the series of fence jumpers, a trend which seems to have gotten under control recently by Secret Service. Now, there are countless mystery packages found on the property. One can't help but wonder if all of those failed attempts are test runs for a bigger event that homegrown terrorists or others are preparing for to see what they could successfully get away with. Thank you.